Hi YouTube, Mr. Use the Boss here, and this is a detailed gaming test of the Tegra K1, requested by Nash 100 Full. So the K1 is a really, really powerful chip, as you all know, but I think in this video I'm going to hopefully try and convey quite how powerful it is. So we're starting off with the game Dino Hunter Deadly Shores. Now this is by Glue Mobile, the same company that made the critically acclaimed Gun Bros, and I have to say it's a very, very enjoyable sniping style game. As you can see, the graphics are very impressive for a mobile port. This looks better than just about any title on consoles like the PlayStation Vita, 3DS, that kind of thing, and it's got these really, really awesome slow-mo cams which just look epic. So yeah, the frame rate is locked at 60, no problem so far. So the next game is The Respawnables. Now, I'd say this goes hand in hand with games like Blitz Brigade as one of the best shooting games on an Android device, both visually and in terms of content. So like most of these games it's free to play and it is actually very very good. So there's actually lots of different stuff to unlock, some of it obviously paid but most of it can be got for free and so you really just gotta grind through and it's not really a bad thing at all. Now although the Tegra K1 is easily powerful enough to make this game run at 60 frames per second, for some reason, and I really can't understand it, the developers cap the frame rate at 30 and so no matter how powerful your device is, it's just not going to go above that, so it makes for a fairly smooth, but not quite sort of Blitz Brigade smooth, gaming experience. So then we have Bloons Tower Defense, and I'd say it's very very easy to underestimate how challenging a game like this can be on a phone's hardware. Now because this is basically all about the sort of a number of objects on screen at any one time, this is more a CPU bound test than a GPU bound test, and so that's probably actually a better test overall because in terms of the CPU and GPU of the Tegra K1, the CPU is definitely the weakest part of the SoC. Having said that though, there are no issues here, the frame rate is again locked at 60. Now another one which I find kind of interesting is Badland. Now this is an incredibly highly rated game, I mean one of the best on all mobile devices. It's like a really really atmospheric 2D style puzzle game. And yeah, it's very very enjoyable and again, works great as you would expect. I mean it's a fairly simple game, but nonetheless, you know, it's kind of elegant in its own simplicity, it still looks absolutely stunning, it's almost pulled off a kind of Rayman look here. So another one that I've tried is Real Steel Boxing. Now I'd say on the scale of being absolutely undemanding, like a very very standard 2D game, to like a really really high scale epic 3D game, this game sits somewhere in the middle. It's kind of like a 2.5D Tekken style fighter. And I have to say I don't really like the game itself, but I guess it's a good demonstration of what the device can do. So as long as the optimization is right, the game looks really nice and plays flawlessly. There are no bugs, no glitches, and everything is supported, it just works. The gamepad mapper can also be used to customise your controls for use with the wireless controller. And then we have the new Spider-Man running game, and this is actually an impressive looking game. I mean I was quite surprised, but it's using a cell shaded graphics engine similar to that of something like Borderlands 2, and it does work really well on a mobile device, and I was kind of really looking forward to the time when mobile devices could pull a look like this off, and we finally got there. Tegra K1 again handles it beautifully. So yeah, I mean to conclude, the Tegra K1 is an incredible chip, I mean I don't know what people are complaining about. I mean, I would go as far to say, as taking the power of the chip into account, the Shield tablet is the best value for money tablet you can buy as of yet. In fact, it's probably the most powerful. Until of course the Tegra K2 comes out, but that's a video for another time.